Hello guys, Bushcraft Family back again with another video. Um, I've talked about this in the past and it didn't seem to get too much too much attention or anything. Uh, the whole bioengineered ingredients and 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 whatnot. Um, and what that is is basically what it sounds like. It's uh, when us humans bioengineer ingredients because it's easier to to grow it or make it in a test tube than it is to grow it um and a lot of it is uh corn wheat and stuff like that but there are some things in there that um makes you wonder like salmon they're bioengineering salmon yeah well it's not the only thing that gets you wondering um there's also uh mcdonald's uh came out recently saying that uh some of their ingredients that they they sell at the, their restaurant will be bioengineered ingredients their french fries and chicken nuggets now i'm i'm not sure which ingredient is in the chicken nuggets it's going to be bioengineered it makes you wonder any part of that can be bioengineered and it's cheaper for them to use something like that um, and sell it off i mean i don't eat at mcdonald's in the first place because mcdonald's has changed so much in my lifetime that uh i won't eat at mcdonald's <laughs> um that's just me but uh people out there that that like it that's 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 their business but when they start talking about some of their ingredients being made in a test tube so to speak um that's more and more reason for me not to even try any of their food anymore. Now, that's not the only thing. Um, I've talked about um, them making meat. This is, this is the big plan for corporate, um, for the government, for... Uh, A new order of people kind of read between the lines there um, they want to grow meat cells I'll put it that way it's the easiest way to put it um, they're already doing it and now they are doing it in a high scale way um like four million four million pounds of meat a year is one company um and this this is called called cultivated beef startup company uh or billion bio is partnering with tech company solar biotech to develop and scale its production um and what they're going to be doing is uh they're building a place that's going to have uh 200 or 20,000 liter bioreactors and what what bioreactors is basically what it sounds like it's a way for them to make that 4 million pounds of meat a year um that doesn't sound like that much for a year, but you get start getting more and more com companies, more of these plants uh, springing up in the United States and 
South America, uh, the Philippines, and things like that. And then they start taxing cows for farts and things like that. Um, they're already buying up, like I said, farmland so farmers can't grow things because it's the fertilizer is causing global warming and things like that. Uh, too much nitrate and this and that. And we're going to have a lot of these plants sprung up all over the place making our food. And there are people out there that are egging this on, saying we don't need to be using up all of our land for farming and grow, uh, raising animals and things like that. And we, we just need to be building these plants to make our food for us. Uh, and here's, here's another one. Uh, Believer Meats, formerly known as Future Meat Technologies, broke ground Wednesday on what it claims will be the largest cultivated meat plant in the world. In Wilson, North Carolina, the facility will be 200,000 square feet with the capacity to produce 10,000 metric tons of cultivated meat. And what the cultivated meat is, is the bioengineered uh, test tube meat, whatever you want to call it. They're going to grow it, and you're going to love it. <laughs> and... Oh, yes, the... Cultivated meat is quickly going from something that sounds like scientists experiment to something that people will be able to eat every day. Yes, this company said it has choo it choose Eastern North Carolina because of the area area's talent pool and region region's reputation for uh, technology solutions is improving prove I'll get it out sorry improve residents lives uh, well they they hope to be up and running by the end of the year or within the year uh, they already have other plants, but this is going to be the biggest one. Uh, they have a lot of plants in Israel that's already producing this meat that the uh, United States has already been already been eaten. And that's, that's where this um, bioengineered ingredient comes in on the back of, you read the ingredients, you'll see a, either a thing saying bioengineered ingredients, or a logo and they can put anything they want in that they can make anything in a test tube and put that in an ingredient in there and you don't know what it is you don't know if it's the breadcrumbs or if it's actually the meat in the product and this is where we're going, people. Uh, I hate to say it, but um, as they say, this is the future. People will not raise animals to produce meat for their families. Um, they won't have to... It'll cut down on global warming to not have all these cows and livestock around. You'll only see these animals, very few, in zoos maybe one day. Look, that used to be a cow. We used to eat those things. 
Oh, yes, we get our meat from a test tube now. We don't have to be cruel and eat those animals. That's where we're headed, guys. Um, and I don't know, is, is there anything that we can do to, to stop this from happening? Is this is we're just headed this way and there's nothing nothing we can do about it. Um I don't know. It it's it's real concerning. Uh, it it may I mean in my lifetime I would never thought that we would be eating something that was grown in a test tube. And it's it's a normal thing now. And pretty soon, there'll be meat grown in a, a test tube that one day I drive down the road and not see any animals, no farms, just houses and businesses and bioengineered plants, factories that's just pumping this stuff out. Anyways, guys, God bless.